I've been teaching, this is my 20th year, uh, 19th at fees. So I came out here, went to ASU, always took English classes and history classes because I do well in them, and ended up with an English degree and then kept going for my master's. Then I just fell into marketing in a bank job and I was at a political fundraiser and ran into an attorney I knew and he knew I was a reader and he said, all I need you to do is read this and summarize. And I loved it and he encouraged law school. So another opportunity I had, which is what really led me to teaching, was working as a probation screener in the juvenile detention and in the state and federal courts. And the second most common denominator of men in prison is a low reading level. Between third and sixth grade is as high as it went. And I thought, I love reading. I could convince anybody to love reading. I had seen that University of Phoenix was giving two free classes, and I fell in love with the program. I thought about two teachers in my own life who had really made a huge difference, a huge impact in my life. I thought, I could do this. I did a year in Scottsdale. But I did want, I specifically wanted a Title I school. And I wanted middle school and I wanted seventh grade because that was the only year of school I didn't like. So I felt like it was a way to kind of combat that. I love the challenge. I get to teach some students who are struggling and I get to teach high end and they both have their challenges. So it's fresh all the time. It is never dull and boring. Sometimes even with paralegal, just seeing how life can take terrible turns when you aren't educated, but the idea that you're not a victim of your circumstance and that education will keep you out of a lot of trouble. I mean, it might seem easy now, but if you don't know how to read, you will be duped. And it opens up your world when you can read. And while I teach two of the three tested areas, I'm pretty strict in the classroom. I try to be at these kids' soccer games. Last night, I'm crying in joy over my students belting out their songs and I'm overwhelmed. I still follow them over to Marcos as they're in high school. I am humbled by the invitations I get to their high school graduations, and they come back and they say, you know, all that stuff you taught us, now it makes sense. And that's humbling, and it is why, and it's, yeah, I wanna do this again next year.